the government doesn't change, ha, actually he's going to fight for the whole, to finish the whole, the whole country. And, and we've said, uh, just today I was, being, I was being told that there's so many mad or mentally ill persons in Gulu municipality and uh, all these are probably effects of the war or of, of desperation or poverty, you know. Uh, th so these children, some of them are withdrawn, some of them are aggressive, some of them don't tell you the inner thought. When they are like uh, already trained to kill, brainwashed 100%. Like the last time I met one of them, is he was saying like, look, I have a headache if I don't see blood. Very disoriented psychologically. You know, you've been abducted when you're young, you've been taken, you've walked through the bushes, you've been traumatized, you've been forced to kill, or you've seen somebody being killed. They are not very normal children anymore. They live absolutely above fear. The fear is an understatement. Fear is an understatement. Children of today play violent games, they play as aggressive. Even those who have not been abducted, they already know that there's a conflict between the government soldiers and the rebels. They play all these, they hide and seek, the rebels versus government. They draw all sorts of pictures of war, you know, of arms and, and you know, they know all sorts of, they have all these ideas about these weapons. He's taken when he doesn't know how to read and write. He grew up all his life in the bush. He did not go to school. So when you give him a paper to read, like to draw something, all he will think of is a gun and, you know, like a, a person in a military uniform. That's all they have in their mind. I still get bad dreams and wake up screaming. Even when I'm not asleep, I get bad dreams. I hear rebels threatening to kill me. I see a long line of children tied with ropes and rebels ordering to kill the children. I was so scared because I see people's arms and legs being cut off. I thought this would be done to me because they do bad things to those who are arrested and abducted. I tried to protest and ask for mercy, but they still went ahead and beat me until nightfall. I slowly moved ahead and asked a certain boy to rain it in a cup for me. I think there are those few drops of urine that saved my life. When the rebels came, I came out of our home trembling with my heart in my mouth, fearing that I would be killed any minute. Some children who were too weak to walk were just chopped up with knives and left to die on the way. This scared me so much. In the bush, I was given to a man to be his second wife. If you refuse to show respect, you are beaten thoroughly. I have witnessed these deaths with my own eyes. What does the government think? Do they think this is right? They entered in the ambush of the of the okay. UPDF soldiers. There's something happening here. But what it is ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there. Telling me I got to beware. I think it's time we stop, children. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. And being the leader, he was the one to be shot. He was the first to be shot. And that is how he lost his sight. There's battle lines being drawn. And nobody's right if everybody's wrong. Young people speak in their minds. Are getting so much resistance from behind. Every time we stop, hey, what's that sound? What's going down? What a 
field day for the heat A thousand people in the street Singing songs and they carry inside Mostly say hooray for our side It's time we stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down Mostly say hooray for our side It's time we stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down Stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down Better stop now, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down saying you open the door guys you who are inside then for us you guys act under the bed they were harsh on the people on the students they were moving from one bed to another removing each and everybody tragically one eight-year-old boy was deliberately shot and killed in his sleep eight years old eight years old shot the boy on the head he was laying where here you can see the blood here. You see the blood. You see the blood where the boy was killed. All this are the blood. We just we just was it this morning. Of course, a child killed in Israel, all the news all over the world. But an actually killed whether by the government or what quiet. Mm. Are we not human beings? Within a period of only three months, 640 civilians were killed. 2,000 civilians were abducted. What other standards are you required to be considered a, a terrorist or not? Since September 11th, you see how thing, it hit the people and yeah, we fail it. The question of life is for all, regardless of color. 800,000 people displaced out of 1,800,000 are in the camps, displaced camps. By putting us in the camps, we're animals. And was in the zoo. I would suggest the U.S. government talk. Let them say, please talk peace, mm. not arms. You need to handle the problem of the children. Pressuring the U.S. government to pressure the Ugandan government to bring an end to this conflict. Bring peace in this region, and we really pray God that uh, they help us. So this is our appeal to the government of America. It surprises us why the world is not coming so strong on this because child soldiers has been condemned well over so, you see we have seen you are suffering but so what we put it so what you see our suffering here we are you put back nothing you say life is a gift of god it is a gift to be protected defended promoted attention please all over the world both the youth of uganda are supposed to be get up for me the better problem I'm going to mess now. I have nothing. I have nothing. I have nothing. Even I, even I don't have even blanket. But the Gusko gave us. This is only my clothes. Mm. And the then Gusko, this also. They uh, but they was it was given by Gusko also. We don't have anything to, to do, do with food. Maybe if we eat once a day, once a day, once a day. So it is better when you kill us. And if if possible you can